Hello and good morning. Joe Justice here coming to you live on February 2nd, 2023. That's right. We are well into February now. January's over. The, sh the, the shortest days of the year are all over. Now we're moving into the longest days of the year. That means before too long, spring is going to be here. It's just around the corner. And I thought this would be a great time to bring on Jay Silverman. He is the director of new business at the GoMart Ballpark right here in Charleston, West Virginia, the home of the Dirty Birds. And I put in the link there a link to the Dirty Birds. So if you're not familiar with them, you can check check them out. And, you know, come sign up, come see a game, come see two games, come see the whole season. I'm sure Jay would love that. And he's also the manager of Having Fun West Virginia or Having Fun WV which is a YouTube site and a Facebook site, a social media presence that uh, highlights different things going on in West Virginia. Hey, Jay, I'm going to bring you up here and tell everybody a little bit about, first of all, let's talk about this uh, Having Fun WV. What kind of stuff do you guys do there? Well, first off, I want to say uh, welcome to a wonderful Groundhog Day. So uh, if tomorrow morning you wake up and you watch this video again tomorrow, it'll be like Groundhog, Groundhog Day all over again. So uh, yeah, so Groundhog Day, happy Groundhog Day for those that uh, are big Bill Murray fans and are watching the movie later. I'll be watching it probably as well. So anyway, back to Half Fun WV. So Half Fun WV is a YouTube channel uh, for which I engage the community uh, in having fun in our state. So uh, we started with a West Virginia hot dog tour where we went out looking for the best West Virginia style hot dog. Over the course of two and a half years, uh, we started back in, in March of 2020 during COVID uh, to help small businesses, uh, particularly the mom and pops out. And so this two and a half year journey, uh, we went to 284 hot dog places all over the state, including the Eastern Panhandle, the Northern Panhandle. And we found the best of the best. And uh, we uh, since had released uh, all these videos on YouTube. It's a 19 video series. Um, just showing how beautiful the state is, how good hot dogs can be in the state, our wonderful, you know, uh, delicacy, I guess you could say, where uh, the West Virginia style, in case you don't know, for both folks who are tuning in uh, who are not from West Virginia, West Virginia style hot dog is a uh, hot dog in a bun, of course, uh, topped with uh, onions, mustard, uh, hot dog chili, and coleslaw. That's right, coleslaw. So we right, ate 284 absolutely. of those to find if the best. Not, if it doesn't have coleslaw, it's not West Virginia, right? That's correct. That's correct. It's not. If it doesn't have slaw, it's not on the list. So for those fans that are, are big fans of the Yans hot dog in Fairmont, we love Yans. However, no slaw, no score. They're not in the top uh, 50. So uh, we get a lot of press on the top 50 because there's a lot of people from different communities that were like had their nostalgic places growing up like where's Morrison's where's Stewart's and just a lot of different comments that people didn't know so we released a top 100 that showed oh here's Morrison's and here's Stewart's uh basically telling people that yeah they didn't make the top 50 but they at least made the top 100 which is good because that just tells you there's 184 other hot dogs out there that were not really that good so take it take the list for as as it is um it's our taste buds not yours so um i think now, we have you actually given an award out for that yet we did yeah the top award goes to bogey's driving range in tornado where they actually have a all beef smoked dog uh with a nice crispy bun in which they smoke as well uh, the hot dog chili meat is actually smoked and then blended into their uh, sauce. And the um, coleslaw is actually a nice chunky slaw with a little bit of sweetness to it. So uh, their, and, their hot dog chili is a little heat. Here, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but you actually had the trophy for that was 3D printed. Is that right? Of course. Well, you got to make it. You got to make it look like a real hot dog. So yeah, we had uh, uh, my friend here uh, in town, a local guy. Uh, Brett White 3 d us a uh, hot dog trophy, uh, which looked like it was a pretty good size hot dog, about, about this big uh, on a mantle, and of course, and uh, uh, we we presented the trophy and everything. And we also uh, gave plaques out to the uh, uh, those that were in the top three 
Uh, so we had lots of good ones here. Um, like in we town need to here, give a, uh, we need to give a shout out to Brett so that he'll post a picture of that because I've seen it. Yes. And it is pretty cool looking. Yes, he needs to. It's a very cool trophy. And if you want to go see it, uh, it's at Bogey's driving range in Tornado. Very cool. And awesome. so uh, is the hot dog thing. The only thing that you guys have done so far on no, the uh, having fun WV. Yeah. There's a lot of other things too. Lots of adventures. Um, we've been doing this for about six years. Uh, on the YouTube channel, and uh, we we do lots of things like flying a biplane in Fayetteville to um, you know check out Mothman to go see the Flatwoods monster. We even go try to find Bigfoot. So there's a lot of things we also do in the channel that are exciting and fun. That uh, that's really uh, basically things that you can see and find in the culture of West Virginia, like the Mothman and. And things of that nature so we go looking for these creatures and things and they're in the museums and stuff and we like to show people some of the cool things that you can do in the state because really folks there's a lot of things to do in the state and people don't really think there is but there really is a lot of things and another cool thing we like to do is get challenged to go try something new so uh, we've done a couple food challenges where uh, my gut didn't like it but uh, we did some of those food challenges like there's the hillbilly hot dog home wrecker um, we have to eat this five pound hot dog. And uh, I tell you, it was not easy, but uh, we completed it. But did I complete it within the time? Go watch the video. Yeah. So yeah, don't uh, anyway, give anything so away. Watch. You've got to watch the video. You got to watch it all the way to the end. That's it. You got to watch it to the end. That's exactly how it works. So, uh, but then I get a lot of folks who are like, hey, I want you to go to uh, ABC restaurant and I want you to try this particular meal. It's my favorite. I think you're going to like it. Please try it. And so I do it. Uh, I will go out to wherever you tell me to go and I try. Uh, I'll try whatever great food you tell me to try. And so, right, so you heard um, it from Jay there. Make sure yeah. you message him and give him some ideas for places to go when you're watching this. Now, now if restaurant owners are smart, here's 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 a here's a smart thing. I do this as a hobby. I don't get paid to do this. YouTube gives me pennies. I don't make much money off YouTube at all. Uh, it barely pays for the gas to even get across town. That's that's how little I get paid from YouTube. So this is basically just a nice expensive hobby that I do. Uh, because I want to show there's a lot of really great things in West Virginia, just to promote how cool this, the state really is. It's beautiful, a lot of good food, a lot of good culture, a lot of unique things that people don't normally have in their state. We have it here. We have lots of cool stuff. So I try to show it on the Half Fun WV. And like I said, if, if you're if you're a restaurant owner, find somebody, one of your favorite, uh, I don't know, patrons that come to your restaurant, and have them make me a video send that video to my facebook page at half fun wv maybe through messenger and drop me a little 10 15 second video saying hey jay come here to my restaurant try it and have this particular dish you're gonna love it and then we will go there and we'll give you four thumbs ups or maybe one thumb up it just depends if we like it or not hopefully it's good i mean i've had a couple bad ones uh, someone told us to go to King Tut up in uh, Beckley to try their pizza burger. And this pizza burger, basically, you would think would have pepperoni, right? You would think. You would think a pepperoni uh, yeah, a pizza that makes burger. Sense. Right, right. No. What they had on top of their pizza burger was a bun, small little patty with pizza sauce, mozzarella cheese, and green olives. That does not sound like a pizza burger. So it got one thumb up out of four. So you got to be careful. I mean, you got to be honest. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna. Not everyone gets four thumbs up. But I will tell you, there's. I've since doing this, I've had a lot of great, great food that I normally probably wouldn't have tried. Who who gotten four thumbs ups? And it is incredible. And uh, and if people are smart, you take the video, put it on your social media for the restaurant and promote the heck out of it. And that's a free service that I provide that uh, I do for my for my gut and for me <laughs> and for the fans. Great. Well, Jay, listen, we're bumping up against our time, believe it or not, but I we do are. want to hear a little bit about the ballpark. Tell me about Go Mart Ballpark. I know you guys have got some new turf. You've got some yeah. uh, concert series coming up this summer. I'm going to right. have you on before the summer so that you can give us a better breakdown of what's That'll going work. on. That'll work. But uh, yeah. go ahead and just kind of give me, give me an idea of what's coming up this spring. 
Okay, for this spring, we got lots of good things here. I know it's uh, uh, we're in February. At the end of this month, that's right, spring is here sooner than you think, folks. The bottom of, uh, I think the last weekend in February, we will have WVU Tech here at the ballpark doing most of their home games here at the ballpark. Uh, so they will have a three-game series starting uh, at the last weekend in February. We also have uh, Marshall University that will be here. Uh, they'll be doing uh, some of their conference games as well as some of their other bigger games. Like uh, some little college will be here. Uh, maybe you've heard of them. WVU. I've heard of them. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's, that's one of those colleges here in West Virginia. Anyway, WVU will be here playing Marshall. I believe it's uh, on March 7th, that Tuesday, I believe. Um, yeah, I believe it is. So uh, anyway, so we're excited to have them here. Um, also, they'll be playing uh, the Ohio State University. Also, they'll be playing uh, Virginia Tech here as well. So Marshall will be having some really big games here that we're excited about. And also coming up April 21st and 22nd, we will have the Savannah Bananas. If you don't know about them, they're basically the Harlem Globetrotters of baseball. So uh, they will be here. Uh, yeah, it'll be an exciting time. And I think you guys will be we here as well, so that'll be exciting. Yeah, we are all really excited about that. We can't wait. Well, Jay, listen, I really appreciate you hopping on today. Definitely going to have you on again to talk a little bit more once we get closer to springtime. I know it's a little early, but I know there's still lots of great stuff going on at the ballpark. Awesome. And I'm going to post this up so that uh, we'll be sure to tag you and comment. I know we you got you got lots of stuff to promote. You've got the ball. You've got have fun WV, all kinds of stuff. So I'm really yeah. excited. Oh, we're also looking for the most unique hot dog too. So if you know a place, go to the Facebook page at Have Fun WV and let us know about a unique hot dog, and we'll go there because we know all the hot dog places didn't get covered. It's hard to do that, but if you have a great place, tell us we'll go. Awesome. Awesome. Jay, thank you so much for popping in here with us today. Really appreciate it. And I will see everybody that's watching. I will see you again tomorrow for our live tech support. And Jay, I'll see you sometime soon. You take care for now. Bye-bye. Thanks.